We're looking at homework from section 2.3. This is question number 12. Find the mean, median, and mode of the data if possible. If any of these measures cannot be found, or a measure does not represent the center of the data, explain why. A sample of seven admission test scores for a professional school are listed below. So, before we find the measures of central tendency, let's order the data. If we ordered the data, it would look like this. Let's start with the mean. Remember, to find the mean, we add up all the data entries and divide by the total number of entries. So, if we add up all these data entries, they add up to 78.9. And 78.9 divided by 7, because there are 7 data entries, is 11.3. So the mean is 11.3. Does the mean represent the center of the data? Well, it's not the least entry and it's not the greatest entry, so the mean represents the center. Next, we'll move on to the median. Remember, if we have the data set in order, the mean is the central entry, or the average of the two central entries, depending on whether there's an even number of entries or an odd number. Here we have an odd number of entries. So if I underlined the three entries on the left and the three entries on the right, there's one central entry left in the middle, which is 11.3. That's our median. Does the median represent the center of the data? Well, it's not the least entry, and it's not the greatest entry, so it seems like a pretty good representation of the middle. Finally, we turn our attention to the mode. The mode, remember, is the most frequently occurring data value. So, if we look at these data values and try to figure out which one happens the most, it's going to be the 11.7. And so 11.7 is our mode. Does the mode represent the center of the data? Well, this time, the mode is the largest of all the data entries. If a data entry is the largest entry or the smallest entry, it can't represent the middle because it would be at the ends. So the correct answer here is choice C. The mode does not represent the center because it is the largest data value. That's your answer.